But it's not cheap though, because it's expensive to travel to Thailand. What you talking about? No, it ain't. You can get like go to Colombia. Look up a plane but ticket for Colombia right now. Nigga, I didn't say Colombia, nigga. Colombia, nigga. I said Thailand. That's Thailand. the other Thailand. 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 fucking end of the world, my nigga. Yeah, but guess what? They might pay for a plane ticket, but guess what? The hotels is dirt cheap. Have you ever been to Thailand? No. It's I've dirt been. cheap. I've been. I've Everything been. is you dirt cheap. For your buck. You go to Definitely. Philippines. You get your bang for your buck. You get bang for your buck. For sure. And that's what they do. This is about leveraging, leveraging their currency. So now, instead of going to somewhere, like I said this before, you can come over here to Germany where I'm at. They love black niggas. But why do they not come here? Oh, because the euro is more than the dollar. And you can't hustle the currency. So they stay away from this place. And they go to these third world countries and trick on these hoes. He if they it. had the money to trick on these hoes in America, they would do so. Yeah. Oh my God. I mean, wait, wait, I kind of honestly is more. Ahead, Coco. You go first, Coco. I feel like it, it is lame, but I also feel like go for what you want. I mean, if that's what they want to do, I don't know. I just feel like that's their prerogative. Go get you some cheap pussy. Well, it's cheap for them, but it's a lot for the women out there. So, I mean, go get you some. You can't afford it here. Might as well. Take your lame ass over there and get you some chicken. Right. What makes y'all like think that dudes that. ain't got money? What makes y'all think that dudes ain't got money just because they going over? over they they, they probably do have money, but American pussy gonna cost you a little bit more. They only going over there for what? Who said that for pussy? That's like, it. Not to get wait, married. Wait, 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 wait. What but makes y'all so think that pussy costs a lot over here? That shit is well, crazy. If, 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 if. Yo, hold on, hold on. Y'all fucking for clout. If. My pussy don't cost you. Don't cost you. It's not gonna be no hundred dollars. I'm just whoa, saying. Whoa, 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 whoa! Your pussy's for sale, my nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm not. I'm not speaking about. I'm not speaking about you specifically. I know. I'm, I'm just saying, like over here, it's gonna cost them. Over there, it's, it's nothing. Like that's nothing. It, it ain't cost. It ain't costing nothing over here. No, Anton. You know, you know there's shit. Man, don't spend five hundred dollars on me on a date. He not taking me out. There's a lot of women. That is talking about if he's not making this, he's not going on a date. If he doesn't, Man, let me tell you Come something. On. The, rent, they get the rent moratorium is here. Who? The rent moratorium is here. It's over. Twelve thousand hoes is getting a, getting evicted down in Atlanta. Yeah. <laughs> Houston, it's an epidemic over there. Right? Come on, man. What? what? The epidemic on what? What makes y'all think? What? what, what, what <laughs> So what are you saying most think? women out here in America are just effing for free? They will they no. will F for free? No. I feel like no. Uh, y'all, y'all, y'all. Wait, 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 wait. Y'all, y'all seriously I, believe that y'all got high price pussy over here. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that honestly, the women over there might be easier to deal with because they can fucking they shut up or they'll go. Here it's a little different. Come on, we see it every day. These women, these women on Instagram. Like, if you don't, if you don't uh make six figures, if you don't buy me a purse, it's if you don't uh, Listen, listen, listen. Those are, those, those are the chicks that talking it's, on the internet. I don't, I don't understand. They should be they talking on the internet and they spewing the narrative of what they want. What you want, y'all don't think that these chicks is fucking. Who y'all think they fucking? Y'all think that they let's fucking add, let's ask the single men. Are these chicks fucking for free? Keon, Quentin, Logic, you're yes. I don't yeah. pay for shit. I'll pay. I'll get you some. <laughs> I'll, I'll pay. I'll give you a thirty dollar chill at dinner. He said, "I want to ask the men, and I see all of these women. These hyenas. Right. We can't confirm what type of hyenas. What kind of women they sucking on? We can't. Then, wait, 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 wait. I, I pulled, pulled up with my women in person, fellas. and they fuck for free. Yeah, what they look like. Exactly. Like, they look like they look like me, baby. No, you're going a little too far. She's not ugly. Go, that that don't have like nothing her. to do with it. She not. She, she not. She not bad looking. But my point is, is that they look just fucking. They look just like you, B. Taylor. What are you talking about? What you mean? They take the same type of pictures as you. Let me pull up your Instagram. Put on my Instagram. Look at this body, baby. Go ahead. They look just like you. Is what I'm saying. Look at Wait, up. So if that's the case, why are these passport bros going overseas then? Hold on, hold on. Let's be for curious, real. Nigga. They want to know what the other stuff tastes Let's, let's be for Q? real, Q. We, me and you have been out and hung out plenty of times. Mm -hmm. you, we know it's not hard. It's really mm -hmm. not. 
It's not hard. You like, it's not hard for you. you a lot wait, of wait, men wait, don't wait. have I, communication skills. You don't skills. even have to approach them. I went to your city. Mm -hmm. The first time that I kicked it with you in your city. That white I lady. Never, I never <laughs> even approached her. At all. She that walked up lady. to she walked up to me. That white lady was what out of there. What makes y'all think that? No, the black chick, not the white lady. What oh, makes y'all? What makes y'all think that these women are so high priced? They not. It's they not right. high price. Okay. You're not saying that. Why they going overseas for the same thing? They doing the same shit. It's just cheaper. And these men literally say it only takes me ten dollars to take ten bitches out on a date. That's what makes it different. You ain't gotta so, take a chick out on a date. You these really chicks don't. here want Ruth Chris. They want State Forty Eight. Y'all ain't got. It. Nigga, we ain't got that shit in Oklahoma, nigga. I go to Chili's. Right, so. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, I'm curious. I'm curious as to what Steph thinks. I think that Steph, you gotta talk about, over these black folks. This, nah, yeah. this is his level I'm sorry, you used to streaming solo. Cut, cut these yeah. men off. Yeah, I'm used to streaming Damn, solo. Uh, like I'll be interviewing women here and there, but I'll be talking over them sometimes. But <laughs> you know, um, Steph, I'm, I'm a 25 year old guy. I'm single. Um, I never, ever, ever had problem with women, uh, even before the status and my name and stuff like that. So I never really, I got my passport. I never been to other countries and stuff like that, but I just want to know why are men lame for wanting to go across the country if they can't get the access that they want here? Because... <clears throat> Yeah, the women here don't cost, but they do cost. You feel what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So, so it might not cost you no money, but it's gonna cost you some time. Yeah, and you're mm -hmm. also gonna be in line. See, that's another thing um, that 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 men over here have to compete with. You have to compete with the other suitors that's in her DM. You know, yeah. I hate to say this, but it's harder to get with a single chick versus to get with a chick that's already in a relationship or dealing with somebody already because she has a plethora of options to deal with so mm -hmm. you know i just i think it's lame to say that guys are lame for doing that you know what i'm saying i feel like you know women can do what they want to do you feel what i'm saying they can go to jamaica and get the dig and stick and and, and brag about it mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying you know and have the uh the measuring contest but it's a problem when when men want to do it. You know what I'm saying? That's the double standard we was talking about earlier. I was just using an example, but it's weird either way. Um, really why he's I'm like, but you know, hold what? on, let, let the man finish. Let the man finish, man. Y'all niggas got it. Yeah, um, y'all got damn a blood disease. Let the man finish. <laughs> um, but but I I know if I was to go to a different country, I know I would have a field day. Like I know it would be because it's easy here. I'm I'm having a field day here, so. I can only imagine. I ain't trying to toot my horn. Just being honest, I can only imagine what it'd be like over there. You feel what I'm saying? So, but that's just me. But for other guys, other guys don't don't have those attributes, and other guys feel like they're wasting time mm. waiting in a so, woman's line when they can put that same amount of time and effort versus over a woman overseas that sees their value. Versus, okay, still, oh, you don't make six figures. Versus, no, you're not tall enough. The woman overseas is not going to have that same value. She might give you that. Give you them sweet watery guts versus this girl that you want. She wants the six six guy. You know he's getting the sweet watery guts, and now you have to wait. You feel what I'm saying? And um, I just honestly feel like uh, women don't see our side of the game because they're not in it. <laughs> so and I'll uh, that. Hey, that, that sounds good and all, but think about this from this perspective, right? You go over there to the Philippines. You meet a chick first weekend. You smash her. You get on the plane. You out. Next nigga come. She's smashing the game, right? Yeah. That that's how it rolls. That's how it roll over there. Like like I said, if these men was going over there looking for wives, looking for relationships, no, they're going over there looking for cheap pussy. Hey, more power to them. But when you sit here and complain about American women, when you oh you know what, and you go over there and just buy pussy. And you talk about the lack of the values in American women, but you buying pussy. How you gonna go over there and you know soon as you leave, she's sucking and fucking on another dude. So this is not a relationship. Guys, that, that's exactly how it is. 
it's plenty of guys that's that got their passport, they fly, they go overseas, and they not desperate, right? They they do get money, they halfway decent looking dudes, and they doing fine. And mm -hmm. and, and so to to put them all in the same box, I think is a is a bad it's a bad do because a lot of guys just travel just because they like to travel. They like to see okay. different places, they got different culture. And if they just so happen to bust a chick down while they over there, and then that's just that's just how it play. Not but that's not to travel. They I travel. know plenty of dudes that travel to travel. Plenty yes. of dudes. I'm talking now, about this, this, no, no, no. Just it's, say that you don't know those. Just say you there. don't know those quality of dudes, and then we can we can have that conversation. But I know plenty of dudes. I know plenty of dudes that travel for business <laughs> overseas. I know plenty of dudes that travel for culture overseas. I know plenty of dudes that go over there because they got a job opportunity over there. And so just because they they execute their options don't necessarily mean that they over there just for that purpose alone. But you got to realize the conversation with the passport bros is on these, these major three locations. These guys ain't going to the UK. They're not going to Austria. They're not going to Indonesia. They're going to the Philippines. They're going to Colombia. They're going to what is it called? Sasul. They're going to these locations prostitution. where prostitution is the main thing there. So that's what they're looking for. So, like, if you talk about some, I understand because I travel all over the world. I see it's different. I see that you can go over there and it, I got that. But you're this is not the passport bros movement that you're talking about. They don't go nowhere but to these three to four locations. But but still, on top of it, if we gonna sit here and say that Western culture and the, and the whole let's say let's say hypothetically a guy's looking for a wife, right? Let's say he's looking for a wife. Mm -hmm. Our cultural norms don't qualify ninety nine percent of these women to be wives. What I see is the, is is the purpose of marriage. And then I see what the options are over here. And then the mm -hmm. mindset that comes along with the women that, that say they want to be married, they don't qualify to be wives. So if a hey, guy, man. for example, is looking for a wife, mm -hmm. the mindset and the cultural norms is not conducive for them to sit here and sort through these pieces of shit over here in order mm -hmm. to try to sit here and have a conversation about whether or not a woman should be their wife or not. That's cool. But now hey, Belog you not, Anton, oh, oh, Belog I, you weren't here I, I last agree. week. Oh, go ahead. No, I, I Anton, I agree with you. But Wait, why? Well, logic, you want to know what he said last week? If you're not <laughs> a virgin, you should be a if, if you aren't a virgin, you shouldn't be a wife. If uh, that's see, your case yeah, over yeah. here, that should be your case overseas. No, too, what I said was probably knocking down. What I specifically <laughs> said was I asked the question and I said, What qualifies you to be a wife? Why mm -hmm. are women supposed to wear white dresses to their wedding? It's supposed Pure. to represent purity, it's supposed mm -hmm. to represent virginity. Her most valuable possession is supposed to be her womb. She's supposed to be preserving herself for her husband. Now, the difference is I also said that I love the hoes. I think that you got to separate the two. It's a difference between a hoe and it's a difference between a housewife, right? The problem here is that y'all then combined the two like it's Voltron and said that, they, that everybody qualified. They don't. There's a difference between a woman that you're supposed to marry and have your kids with and the woman that you then slot as just for the streets. And y'all think that they all deserve to be married and they don't because no. most women do not qualify to be a wife. And so if you don't mm -hmm. qualify... Let's just call it what it is. If you for the streets, then you for the streets. So, but don't but don't try to take what's supposed to be a norm and then modify it and remix it and say that, well, you can wear a black dress to your wedding and then revise mm -hmm. your vows to be whatever it is that you want it to mean. When that's not what a wife is supposed to represent. 